Hi Capricorn, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Mary Moon and welcome to Synchronicity Central. I'll be doing, I'm going to be doing a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising sign of Capricorn. I hope everyone had a beautiful Valentine's Day, even if you spent it alone and loving yourself yesterday. This reading is timeless, so whenever you see it, it is for you. But um, this is the day after Valentine's Day when I'm filming it. So I hope everyone had a beautiful night in some way, shape, or form. All right, and let's just take a look at the love life of the Taurus guided to this reading. Not all of those, that's way too many. <laughs> Okay, let's see. All right, so we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And then we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some of you Capricorns, you have been in a situation of unrequited love. Something that is not fair to you at all. Um, you know, you need and deserve chemistry and return energy when it comes to love, um, Capricorn. Let's see what else here. Okay. You know, I saw this at the bottom of the deck and I was going to put it down and then I said, mm, I don't know. Let me shuffle. Um, it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I feel like that's what this is. I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, a situation of unrequited love where it just doesn't get returned to you the way that you deserve for it to is going to be exiting for you. And, um, something new is going to be coming in. And a lot of you might be like, I'm closed off because I've been down this road with this person who just like shuts down, doesn't offer me affection, doesn't try to meet my needs in any way. Um, and I'm um, just head over heels for them and do everything for them. And, um, you're going to be like, I don't want to even love again because I don't want to go through that again. But the, the universe is saying that it is safe for you to love when the time represents itself to you. And, and in look, they're saying, trust, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. So Capricorn spirit is calling upon you to have faith and, and this negative situation you've been in where you haven't been treated fairly and the love has not been returned. There is someone coming in for Capricorn that is going to be so worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So just keep that in mind. And that's very important because we want divine timing because we want it to come in when it's right for us, when it can stay, when it's going to be something that's good for us when it's going to have a lot of chemistry that's returned on both sides and and kindness and compassion that's returned equally on both sides that is what you want and um and i feel like that's what is being said here for the capricorn a lot of you are being called upon to either leave a situation of unrequited love um behind so that you can have this chemistry and this safe love that you know that's so worth waiting for um and a lot of you are being told that you were in this unrequited love situation and someone's coming in that's going to be full of chemistry, safe to love, worth waiting for, someone that you can trust. Trust in that, Capricorn. All right, what's next? Get you a wisdom of the Oracle card. Look at that, Capricorn soulmate. So we have like a bunch coming out. I can't keep all of these, but... um. Yeah, Virgo had similar energies in theirs, so you might want to check that out if you have that in your chart or you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, but we have here Soulmates 41, and I just feel like 41 to me has been like this something that's like indicative of like of a love returning, of reconciling, of getting back together, and that's just me personally. That's something I've come to see with my own life. Um, soulmates look at these cute penguins with love all around them and you know penguins mate for life so it's like that's trying to tell you um capricorn that you haven't probably had somebody that deserved your love they definitely didn't give it to you the way they should have and the universe is saying you know you're in between the darkness of that world and the light of this new world with this loving lifetime soulmate energy 44 is a number of um stability and it's saying You've been thinking about this. You've had been in your head about it for so long. Um, and, you know, you're tired of unrequited love relationships where it's not returned and equal. And you're stepping out of that energy. Trust that, um, Capricorn. Stepping out of this dark energy and into the light of this love that you actually do deserve. And um, the universe is like, yeah, to be fair, Capricorn, to be fair, you deserve this. <laughs> You've been through it and, and it's enough. So um, that's what the universe is saying here. 
um, and you're in between those worlds right now, a lot of you that are guided here, and um, you're working your way to the light side, to the bright side, to where it's going to be better for you, and you're going to have your life love, that lifelong love that um, you deserve with chemistry that lasts and is returned. So what's next? The heart to heart oracle for Capricorn. This is the cutest little deck. Chasing rainbows. Look at this. An elusive partner. Changing up emotions. Can't re meet up. This right here is a unrequited love. So some of you Capricorns out there may have been chasing rainbows, right? They're gorgeous. We love looking at them. We want to see them all the time if we can. And uh, some of us will even take drives for them. But they will go away right? They're, they're not there permanently. They're there to, they're, they're, they dazzle us shortly and it's wonderful and amazing, but then they're gone, right? And, and if you chase them, you're just going to chase a dissipating energy, like, like chasing clouds. And a lot of you Taurus have been doing that with, um, you know, with this person that you're hung up on that just doesn't return that energy to you. You know, you're dazzled, you love them, you want them, but in the end, you can't grasp and hold on because the person that you really are meant to be with, it's going to be so just loving and what you're meant for is waiting for you to let go of this, you know, metaphorical rainbow um, as beautiful as they are. Roll with it. Better than you think. Things move quickly. Give it some time. So I feel like some of you... Um, are just being asked to just trust and really give it some time, okay? Um, it's going better than you think, and you might, some of you might be worried that something in your love life isn't going well, or it's not in the direction you want it to be, but just roll with it right now and kind of see where it takes you, okay? Don't try to fight it. Don't talk about it too much. Just observe and see where it goes. Special treat. Okay, some of you are Capricorn. Oh my gosh, I almost called you Taurus. Um, that might be synchronistic to somebody out there for some reason. Special treat. Surprise in store for you. Having a great time. Making memories. And I feel like this is that energy of like, of this someone has a special surprise for a Capricorn and you're going to be really shocked by this and you're going to have such a nice time and you're going to be making really fabulous memories that you're going to cherish when this happens. Oh, look at that Taurus. I mean, look, we have, you know, um, this penguin couple and it's interesting because in the um, Virgo reading, we had the penguin couple and a rabbit couple and now we have two birds, right? We have penguins and little birds. So cute couple, lots in common, similar perspectives, your best friend. So some of you have been chasing someone that's dazzling you with in and out energy that is probably only attractive to you because of childhood wounds that you were unaware of even in your psyche. But there is someone coming in that is going to be your best friend. You have so much in common with them. It's just going to flow so easily for you, Capricorn. And this energy of unrequited love is like, bye-bye. <laughs> it's gone. It's going out. All right, so Capricorn, yeah, look at that. We have trust over here, and we have trust down here with this card strength. Um, just trust that you have what it takes to bring this in. Trust that you deserve love that lasts and trust that this death and transformation you're going through Capricorn is for your highest good because look at this I mean you are you're in between worlds you're you're letting go of the old you and moving into the new you that is going to have so much more than this one had and have their needs met so much more and experience things in a new beautiful way than they've ever seen before the de the darkness dying like this death card okay and in and, and Capricorn, the universe is just really trying to reiterate spirits here, trying to send you so much love right now, saying trust in this, let go of this, whatever this is, whatever this represents for you, because you're going to have a special treat coming in, the cutest couple, the most loving couple, something that's going to be full of chemistry and equal. And it's coming in, you know, um, I feel rather quickly and stably with the queen. Stably. Where did, oh my God, stably. Not even a word. <laughs> it's 
stability is coming with it is what I was trying to say. Um, okay. I don't know. That's funny. Um, anyways, so the queen of pentacles solid in her position grow has grown so much and into such a much more mature person and is ready for this solid love. This, 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 uh, highly, you know, um, intense, deep rooted lasting forever love let's pull like one more here for the tour of the cat why do i keep doing that i keep seeing taurus watching capricorn there must be somebody with taurus in their chart or maybe you're dealing with a taurus and that's just a synchronicity popping up but keep doing that those kind of felt like they just uh, fell so here we go um, yeah, page of swords. Um, somebody's going to be getting a message from somebody. This is communication coming in. And I, and I feel like new love is brewing for some of you. Some of you have been with somebody in the past who didn't treat you good and didn't return love the way they should. And I feel like they're coming, going to kind of, kind of pop back in to, um, maybe represent things to you. Um, and you have to decide this person might've been some of you, it might've been your best friend, you know, um, and you have to decide you might just spend a day together and just see how it feels, but you always have to go with what's inside because, um, you know what to do deep down. Um, and I, so I feel like Capricorn is going to be coming out of this hangman energy. Um, I always do that. I'm sorry. Hangman energy and moving into something better, so much better, um, for Capricorn. Let's get one last message. One last message for Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, look. Oh my God. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles coming out together, Capricorn. This love that you are um, embarking upon, have just embarked upon, about to return to, whatever the case may be for you watching, is going to be so locked down solid. It's not going to be up in the air and you can trust that all that other stuff from the other end of your life that's on this side of the world that you've exited out of is being left behind and you're going to be in this in really deep relationship now that's going to be for good for you soon Capricorn. So I hope you liked your reading. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, if you want information on how to get your own personalized reading, you can check out the description box for ways to contact me and do so. And um, I'm sending you lots of love, Capricorn. Take care.